Um, right now, we know that she has been positively identified as the remains that came back here uh, Friday night. What we don't know is how she died. Doing that, finding that out will take some time, and that is what uh, investigators say. They don't know the official cause of death. And right now, what we know at this moment is that this was always going to be the end result, that she was going to be identified uh, from those remains in Arkansas, but still, making it official, still very, very difficult. Now, we have all felt like Malia was our Houston's girl, right? Those big eyes, that really sparkling smile. And when she went missing that first week of May, it really captivated our community. We all wanted to find out what happened to her. Malia's mother's former fiance, Darian Vence, was a suspect from the very beginning. Now, last Friday, he finally told community activist Quanell X that her body was on the side of the road in Arkansas. And around the same time, a road crew actually found a plastic bag with the remains near the town of Fulton. And that's when that search happened. Her remains were gathered and returned to Houston Friday night. Thanks to a court order, we knew all of us did at that point that the remains were most likely those of Malia's. That positive ID, though, came just about an hour ago. District Attorney's Office releasing that statement about five minutes ago. It says additional charges will be filed as the evidence supports doing so. We remain focused on finding truth and delivering justice for Malia. The key here is to remember that even though Darian Vince, the stepfather, is the primary suspect, he has only been charged with tampering with a corpse that could, if he sticks with that charge and he's found guilty, go up to about 20 years right. behind bars. But there are no murder charges and that's not coming right away. I know people want immediate, immediate charges, but this justice takes time. Yep.